Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is pleurisy. In the previous videos, I explained about the causes, signs and symptoms, diagnosis. Uh, but this video is about uh, the treatment options uh, once someone is diagnosed with uh, pleurisy. Before starting, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, the external uh, splinting of the chest wall and uh, the pain medication, you know, they can reduce the pain in case of uh, uh, this condition, you know. And treating the underlying disease uh, relieves the symptoms, you know, relieves the this uh, pleurisy, you know. And examples are if the heart, lung or kidney condition is there, you know, uh, it is treated and the removal of the fluid from the chest cavity uh, can relieve the pain and uh, shortness of breath. And sometimes the fluid removal can make the uh, pleurisy temporarily worse, you know, and uh, because uh, uh, if the too much fluid is removed, and uh, there is not much lubrication, uh, fluid left for the lubrication, you know. And uh, the uh, two inflamed pleural surfaces can, uh, in that case, they can rub together directly on each other with each breath, you know. So it makes it worse, you know. So the proper amount of uh, the fluid uh, need to be aspirated and uh, there must be some left for the lubrication. Now, if the pleural fluids uh, uh, show the sign of infection, then the appropriate treatment uh, with the antibiotics is needed, you know. And if there is a pus inside the pleural space, uh, the chest drainage tube should be inserted. And this procedure involves like uh, placing a tube inside the chest under the local anesthesia, you know. And uh, the tube is then uh, connected to a sealed chamber uh, that is uh, connected to a a suction device in order to uh, create negative pressure environment you know and uh, in severe cases uh, if uh, in which there are large amounts of the pus and the scar tissues you know uh, there is a need for the uh, decortication you know so decortication is the uh, procedure and uh, which involves the examining the plural space under general anesthesia with the special scope, which is known as trachoscope, you know. And uh, uh, through this pipeline instrument, uh, the scar tissue, pus, and the derbies that can be removed, you know. And sometimes an open surgical procedure known as a thorectomy, you know, is required for more complicated cases. Now, in the cases uh, of the pleural effusion that results from the cancer, the fluid often reaccumulates, you know. And uh, in this case, uh, the procedure called uh, pleural uh, desis, you know, it is used. In this procedure, uh, this procedure entails uh, instilling an uh, irritant, you know, such as uh, like uh, uh, belomycin or tetracycline or uh, talcum powder, you know, inside the space between the pleural layers in order to create the uh, inflammation, you know. And this inflammation, uh, as a result, uh, in turn, you know, will adhere or uh, uh, take the two layers of the pleura together uh, as the scarring develops, you know. And this procedure uh, obliterates the space between the pleura and prevents the recumulation of the fluid. Thank you very much for watching this video. One, one more thing. Uh, in some cases, it can be prevented, you know, depending on the cause. For example, if uh, the early intervention in treating the pneumonia may prevent the accumulation of pleural fluid, you know. And uh, in case of the heart, lung, or the kidney diseases, the proper management uh, can help to prevent the collection of the fluid. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. Goodbye.